We caught up with a Grammys Hall of Famer who lives right here in the DMV. That's right, Master G from the Sugar Hill Gang spent some time with our Michael Quander. Michael, what was the best part about that interview? Look, y'all know the song already. <laughs> the hip, hop, oh, yeah. the hippie yes. to the hippie, the hip, hip, hop, and you don't stop. <laughs> Do it. Come on now, Rappers of Life by Sugar Hill Gang is legendary. I got a chance to sit down with the man, one of the men who created the song that helped introduce hip hop to the world. The conversation was fun, but we also got real. I'm just saying, I'm sitting here yes. with the M-A-S-T-E-R-G to the double E. <laughs> hey, I go by the unforgettable name of the man they call him Master G. Master G, man. Yes. I said a M-A-S, a T-E-R, a G with a double E. You know, most times, you know, if you have a recording career, it's that long, kind of, you know, mm -hmm. but with us, it's just, that's our signature song. You know, and sometimes people say, well, do you get tired of doing? No, because that's the that's the song that took us around the world. That's the song that introduced this music to the world. We are seeing uh, celebrities dealing with some very real stuff, yes. right? What was one of the lowest moments in your life or your career that you've had? Uh, financialist stuff. You know, when you're a kid and you make a lot of money and you're not used to money, you don't understand it. So my, 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 my uh, lowest point was when I was kind of trying to figure out how to put food on the table. You know, I got to that point. What, what was life like? I was, I was, I was, it was one of the most depressing times in my life because here I was trying to put into context that I had done all these things, you know, I made all these things happen. I reached the you know, highest of heights, but I couldn't figure out how to, you know, financially make it coincide with the level of success that I had. How do you want people to remember you the most? I want people to remember me as a person that was doing it because it was it was something that I was just destined to do. I want people to, to, to see me as somebody that did it on a positive level. And I also want people to see me as somebody who, who, who loved his people. Look, I gotta tell you guys, Master G is so inspiring. He is proof that you, no matter what you go through, depression, financial problems, whatever, you can bounce back and walk through life with a positive attitude. Now, Master G has lived in a DMV for about seven years now, so you know I had to have some fun with him about DC traditions and culture. I'll have that part of the interview at 6.30, you guys. Oh, that's, can you give us a little snippet? Would you? I, look, I, got, I asked him about mumbo sauce, <laughs> then chili bowl. Look, I got real, okay? We need, these are questions that we need to know. Is he invited to the cookout? Uh, yeah. I, I love I love this guy. I've met him on a couple of occasions. Good, good guy. Down to earth. Uh, uh, Down to earth. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, 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 you know, he's huge. They were, I mean, that was a turning point in popular music. When that song came out, it was a big hit. They changed everything. And it's still a big hit. Yeah. Still, it I plays mean, at like all the parties. Yeah. Right? And we hear it being featured in TV shows, movies yes. still to this day. And so he's still happy to have that legacy and pass it on to his generations uh, and his family too. All right, one more time. <laughs> the hip, uh, the hippies, the hippies. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Okay, Michael, thank you.